Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today we have a go at crafting the new American Girl Spaghetti Dinner Meal. Our dolls love Italian food and are very excited for this dish. We also have a bonus craft showing how to transform a cheap dollar store toy into a Dutch oven similar to that seen in the AG set. This craft uses paper, cardboard, air dry clay, paint and glue. So let's get making! To start, take a manila folder and cut long, thin, thin strips. The yellow cream colour is perfect for pasta and the paper quality is thicker than computer paper but not too thick for our next step. The paper strips were easier to manipulate when cut into batches as shown. Take a batch of strips and dunk them into a bowl of lukewarm water to soften the paper fibres. Using a plastic bottle, wrap the wet strips around it to form the classic spaghetti noodle oval shape. Slide the paper off the bottle and use your fingers to finesse the shape. Ours looks like a bird's nest. Wet and coil a second batch around your bottle. Remove and gently twist the paper to make it fit inside the first one we just made. To add height to the pasta, curl a final batch of wet paper around a thinner bottle. We use the nozzle of the puffy paint tube. Place this on top of the pasta pile. When completely dry, take liquid glue and generously cover all the spaghetti. You need to put glue between the layers to ensure the different paper batches are fully adhered to each other. To make the meatballs, combine equal amounts of brown and red air dry clay. Take small pinches of clay and roll six little balls. While the clay is still tacky, form a clump to sit atop the pasta noodles. Gently press the meatballs into the pasta to make a strong connection between clay and paper. For the sauce, mix red and brown acrylic paint. Cover the meatballs and some of the pasta with this mix. You can apply Mod Podge or Dimensional Magic for that extra shine. Set aside to dry. Roll a ball of green air dry clay. Use a plastic ruler to press and shape the clay into a rectangular block about the same size as your pasta. Texture all four sides with a needle tool or toothpick. Drag, twist and swirl your tool to stretch the clay. Now we have a lettuce base. Before the clay sets, make three shallow indents on top for the tomatoes. To make these, simply cut or punch small discs of red cardstock. Cut them in half, then glue together a stack of 10 halves per tomato slice. Here we have an AG bread piece to use as a size guide. On cardboard, mark a rectangle 4.5 by 3.5 centimeters. Inside the rectangle, draw an oval-like shape that is flat along the bottom, but has a rounded top. Trace, cut and glue five together. To give the cardboard some texture, we will use the tissue paper method like in our DIY cookies tutorial. To thicken the crust, we cut thin strips of tissue paper and layered them around the edges with liquid glue. Once the glue had dried, paint the bread all over with a light brown colour. Blend in a mid-tone brown, but keep the centre still light. Lastly, use a deep rust-coloured brown for the crust and around the very edges of the slice. We found a cheap cooking playset at our local dollar store. The shape of the pot is a good match for the AG Dutch oven. All we need to do is change the colour. We used cream spray paint for the inside of the pot and sky blue for the outside and lid. Working outside on a sunny day, we gave the pots two coats of each colour. Paint the knob a shiny silver and the pot is finished. That's it, you're done. Now the dolls have a complete spaghetti dinner meal and new cooking pot for the kitchen. Check out our DIY cheese block and grater tutorial if you'd like to make more pieces for this set. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to Always Dolls.
Oh, come on! It's okay, Kyle.